Hello, Internet and people on YouTube that like to watch people on YouTube play games. Uh, my name is the Black Jade Falcon. I am your host for Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 and several other games, but right now this is what we're playing. We are playing as the Empire of the United States right here. And we started off, uh, just as a quick recap, all the way over here with 13 original colonies, declared independence from this guy called Great Britain. Uh, back in the 1770s and 1780s, we are now in the middle of the 20th century, and we have pushed, we have conquered pretty much all of North America, except for two little colonial spots and some islands. Now we are in South America. The very last episode, we took out Spanish Peru. So that is the last of the Spanish colonies. Here's Spain over here. See, no more colonies. They are guaranteeing the independence of the Netherlands. And they are trying to get a base in India. Because we kind of screwed them over immensely. See how much they hate us? Yeah. Portugal also hates us. They are at war. Uh, they are trying to expand their um, uh, colonial nation, but are not doing very well at it. See all these hash marks? Yeah, they've been um, taken, which I think is hilarious. Because often when I play, Portugal becomes a superpower and very, very difficult to kill. I have to conquer other countries in order to get their resources so that I can beat up Portugal enough to where this little strip of land falls under me. Same thing happens with Spain because of all of their colonial abilities. They just get massive amounts of money, and they can just buy troops uh, pretty much as much as they want. And it gets annoying. So I decided to play as a New World country because I've always played as an Old World country, like Spain or Ireland even. I had I actually played as Ireland once. I started off here in Ulster, and conquered most of the island, and then Great Britain hit the, I believe, War of the Roses time period, and I just kind of moved in and took the, took the opportunity and crushed them. So instead of Great Britain, this was Ireland. And then I moved over into Germany and just spread through, chipping away at France and everywhere else. The Commonwealth was all the way over here, and we were friends for a little while, and then I conquered them. When the game updated and I lost my map, I controlled most of the old world. It was epic. But here we are now. Here are my soldiers. My cores are just about done. And life is actually pretty good. We've got a bunch of buildings going up. I don't really care about having friends. After I get into Europe, which will probably be within the next few episodes, I will start to care. But for right now, couldn't care less. goes there. Okay. Got a few things about to go active, which means our earnings are going to skyrocket again. Probably jump by about 1020. Excellent. So let's do, oh, nah, let's not do that. Let's go over here and we'll take a look. Ooh, goody, goody. Okay. News about a Holy Roman Emperor that I really don't care about because well, we're all the way over here, and they're all the way over there. We've been invaded by Austria because they were helping out Brazil. 
And that's about it. Austria kind of likes us right now. So, Devastation shows how bad the world is for that province. The deeper, the brighter the red, the worse it is. And I ran all over in here, just destroying stuff. So, South America is pretty damaged. And it's about to get more damaged. So, I can lose that. Um, sorry, guys. I can't afford it. Can't help you. Best of luck. Well, meanwhile, up here in North America, when this was all uh, war-torn, it was as bad as this. Devastation does fall, does fix itself, but it takes a while. Okay. We had multiple incursions over here, so it's going to be a bit. Okay, so we got awesome trade. And let's look at money. Money is actually doing very well. The bright red is the lowest. Dark red, not too bad. See? Gold is awesome. And then green is as bad as good as it gets. Blue means it actually produces gold. So we want it to turn either yellow or green. And our eastern seaboard, very, very rich place. I like that. And we've got a few that I'm growing out west. That's what a lot of these are. Okay. back over here to political and see if we can build something else. Okay, we can. Let's look over here, see if we can do better. I could. I don't really want to, though. Coming. And counting house is not bad. How's about this? In keto. Ooh, cloth. That's a good idea. Make keto a very rich place. Let's pop down here. Actually, looks like keto's already got it. Where are we getting uprisings here? That's yeah, not going to happen. Harsh treatment. Okay, and... There. Okay. Where was I? Let's increase trade power here. And here. I think that would be a good idea. And then we're going to create another one up north. There go. Three more buildings. Then we got a bunch of plantations about to come online. Yay! Alright, we can invade in 49. Gonna be a bit. Now, uh, I may not really know when we are, because I can't actually see this date very well, because there's a big square about yay big that tells me I'm recording. So I actually can't tell how fast we're, I can't tell how fast the game is progressing. I can't actually tell the date. I can see the day and the month, but most of the time I cannot see the year. Not much I can do about it. I wish I could grab this thing, this little square, and move it to, like, here, and I could see better. But then I'd have to move it again for another game that I would play, because all interfaces are so different. Well, what do you do? OK. 
Okay, we'll let some of these come online. And then... As our money is about to skyrocket. In three, two, one, ding. Okay. We just got a bunch of stuff in. So let's come over here and grab this. 45, uh, yeah. Let's see, we'll build up all of these 30s that we just got. They're all single set, so, but just for kicks. Let's see here, 500s. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt, we're gonna need them. Bad. I think I will. Because that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 3,000 men. Which probably wouldn't hurt. So I think I will. I think I will grab these. Like that one. Actually, let's see if we can convert. Not right now. We gotta wait. Speaking of, let's look at our culture map. Now, everything you see that's orange is being converted. Everything that's green is what we want it to be. And everything that's red is not what we want it to be. So, we'll get there eventually. A lot of the reason is because we haven't we're building a lot of buildings in these areas. It's all this. And I can't build and convert at the same time. I wish I could. Because, but that would make the game ridiculously easy, apparently. Okay. So let's grab another training facility. Come on. Yes, I know it will cut in my bottom line, but eh, soon we're going to need soldiers more than money. Because we'll get plenty of money by just conquering territory. Like, say, all of this. Which is now, it's basically me and Brazil in the New World. Everybody else is just kind of there. And adorably there at that. Okay. Rebel factions, Spanish, Peruvian separatists. Dun dun dun. Yeah, I'm not too concerned. Well, good for you. I'm glad you don't. Because I really don't care. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna really piss off the Russians. I'm gonna do the smart thing. I could attack them, but I'd probably get my. I'd probably get beat so severely uh, it just wouldn't be good okay I wonder nope see by clicking this I can see if they have the earlier version in there okay and this one doesn't Good. How about you? Because I haven't looked at what I've been given yet. Well, what I've conquered. And I usually don't. Okay. Come on. My gun. And we'll get another thousand in. Okay. Every thousand men is valuable. When you're fighting in when you're fighting a war, especially against a European power. 
So these little guys are hard to kill. Remember, this is the European time period when Europe was, ha when Europe had all of the superpowers. Even though we're you know in the 1940s and 1930s and whatnot, it's we're all still basically in the 1700s. Really, guys? Quit your whining. month we'll get another training facility. I would like that one. Thank you. Culture conversions coming along nice. Another one about to pop. And we've also got a few buildings about to complete. Two months away on a stock exchange. Uh, two months away on another stock exchange. So we've got stock exchanges. Counting house is going to be a little while. That's all right. We got plenty of money. Now, as you core, you take a hit. So you don't want to take more than your economy can actually handle. That being said, you don't want to take too little either, be because then it takes forever to get stuff done. And then you're screwed. Okay, we got a bunch right here, man. All the way down to there. Oh boy. Okay. Eh, I really don't care. Alright, so we are in 1943. And when does that burn off? 49. We got six years of peacetime. Unless we go and attack a colonial peace. Which we could. I could move, uh, could move an army up to here, and then we just kind of leapfrog out into Denmark. But I don't really want to do that right now. Denmark, if I remember correctly, has friends. Okay, not that big of a deal. So let's continue building up infrastructure. And let's take a look at our money. Okay. Things are improving in the world. Look at this. Economics, colonials. Hmm. So, range in colonial availability. Green indicates provinces that are not colonized but can be colonized. Red indicates provinces which are too far away to colonize. Blue indicates provinces that are being colonized. Uh, and the darker the blue, the more progress has been made. Gray indicates already colonized provinces and or cities. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Yeah. I'd say all the colonies are taken. Shh, don't tell anybody. Come on, buildings. So blue, I believe, is full. 
According to many buildings can be built in the province. Light green indicates that uh, more buildings can be built. Dark green indicates fewer province with blue stripes uh, has unique. Neat. Okay. And send you. And produce you. Come here. Oneida. That will help. Alright, another training field just came active. <laughs> Ooh. We have rebellions, we do. I like that. So the noble rebels. <laughs> uh, the nobles are revolting. Well, mostly they're just stuck up. Okay, build another one. Come on. I have to do that a few more times. Okay. One little second here. Da -da. I am just sending a text to a very dear friend of mine. Yes, I would love to. Okay. And send. All right, looks like uh, we got stuff to do tonight. This can be a fun day. All right, and things are continuing to grow. Excellent. That makes me very happy. Got another trade station that's about to pop in a month. Manitoba. Let's take a look at money. See how things are improving here. Quite a bit. Look how wealthy we are, man. It's fantastic. And everybody basically hates us. <laughs> Austria, not bad. But the big three, uh, they're not happy. And I really don't care. No pissing. Which always makes the ten-year-old boy in me laugh. Hmm. Can lose that. Nope, I want mercantilism. Much as we can get. Mercantilism, good. It's about to finish. Peruvian separatists. Can I do any more culture conversions, I wonder? Not quite. These are about to pop. So let's look at the culture map. See how it's coming along. We have a nice little pocket of American culture right here in the middle of the middle of the Nicaraguan rainforest. What 
building anything, so what's your deal? Separatism. Ah, because they're still Catholic. That's why. Okay. And then it's fine. Here. Hey, look. That's actually my birthday, October 10. Yep. I am what is called a Libra. But I thought Libras were very shy. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's ridiculous. Don't be stupid. Now, if you conquer a holy city, like, say, Rome, or Jerusalem, or Mecca, you get another missionary. And that can help you out a lot. I was playing in Spain, and I had rigged things in such a way to where I had, I think, eight missionaries. There were some points where I... There was just no way for me to use all the missionaries just because of the amount of colony just because of the amount of territory that I would take and we were so good at converting that it was just fast like two maybe three months and they'd be converted All right, let's see if we can add any more in now nope not quite we'll get there Let's build another one of these. And Panook. Okay, and... Right, we are... Where's Wichita? There's Wichita. This one's being converted right now. Which means as soon as it converts, we can transfer it over to American. Because, if you notice, anything that hasn't been converted to our religion is not converted to our culture. Interesting, huh? Kind of makes sense, though. All right, another year. And now I could just attack Brazil right now. Here's the thing. Let me show you the penalty for attack. So we come over here. And let's see here. We'll click on this. And we'll declare war. Now, if I attack right now, not only will Austria jump in, but I will lose five stability, gain a ton of war exhaustion, and get into a fight with somebody that actually kind of likes me. And I take a massive ex uh, expansion penalty. Which really pisses people off. Okay. And it will force, and it may cause uh, a coalition to be formed against me, which is a very, very bad thing. I don't want that to happen, so we're going to be nice. We're going to consolidate power. We're going to build up our infrastructure and uh, make more money get more soldiers, and be that much more of a threat. See how all that works? Awesome. All right, March 31, April 1st. All right, payday. Thank you, Potomac. Okay, and we got a bunch, we got a counting house about to come online. We're about two and a half months away, and we're less than a year away on most of this. Got a few that are sitting there.
Well, that's about all I've got for you today, guys. It's been a pleasure. So, if you're new to the channel, please hit that big red subscribe button below. Leave a like and a comment. Both help out. Actually, all three help out the channel. Uh, I will be back later with another episode on how to conquer the world using the United States. Until then, be good to each other and go play some games, man. Maybe even some tabletop ones. Bye.